This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at particles, replicators, and parameter behaviors in Apple Motion 5.3. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use particles to add animation to a still image. So here, I have an open to a program called Path to Adventure. Now, this is using 3D text. We're going to talk about 3D in two episodes. Episode 6 is all going to be 3D text and working in 3D space. For right now, just nod your head and say, ah, cool, 3D. Let's move on. I'm going to hide the timing bar. Now, what I have is I have a still image. It's a forest, bridge, and path. A nice title, but nothing is moving. If I hit the space bar, Nothing is moving. It'd be nice to, to create some sort of life to add to this so that when the music starts, there's something happening on screen besides Path to Adventure. And yes, I could animate the text, but let's build on a particle system. So first thing is, notice that I've got my text in one folder. I've got my background in another folder. It's just a still. I'm going to right mouse click, create a new group. New groups are always created at the top of the layers panel. I'm going to call it Leaves. Go to the library. Go down to Content, Particle Images, and we're going to click the magnifying glass, search for leaf. And there is a leaf here that I want to use. It's right there, leaf 01. Now, this leaf was created in an application that actually creates 3D art. I can't create this kind of movement and see all sides of a leaf. I can't create that in motion. I can play it in motion. It's a movie file. But it's not an actual 3D object. It's just a piece of video. Motion is what's called 2.5D. This means that any video that I put in has got height and width, but has no depth. I can't move around or inside a piece of video. I move cameras in 3D, particles in 3D, lights in 3D, sets in 3D, but actual elements, video or anything from the library, is 2D. So I need to create the illusion of 3D, and I did that by creating this leaf shape in a different application, Cinema 4D or Maya come instantly to mind. I'm going to add this. I've noticed that I've selected my leaves folder. Click Apply, and in a second we're going to see our animated leaf. There it is right there. Just to make this easier to see, I'm going to temporarily turn off text and turn off the background so you can see the leaf, and I'm going to leave the leaf at that size. With the leaf selected, let's go up to Make Particles, and now I have lots of leaves, all floating in the wind. Show the HUD, and let's change the direction of the radiation so that they go down right, right about there. Make it just a little bit faster, right about there. I'll go up to the Fit menu and make the image smaller, and we'll see the frame of the image. Click here. I'm going to drag it so that the origination point is just outside the frame. So I don't see the leaves being born. I simply see the leaves floating. And I want to have a little bit more speed here, so I'll increase the speed of the leaves, and we'll tweak that a little bit more in just a second. Okay, so I took something from the library, a leaf. I then turned it into a particle shaped the direction that the emitter's blowing. The smokestack is now in the top right corner of the frame, and I'm done with the HUD. Let's go to the inspector. Notice again, emitter is selected. I don't need to change any of my emitter controls. We'll do that later. I want to have all of my leaves born at once. So I'm going to create 300 leaves. I'm not going to have any bird born thereafter. And because they're all moving at the same speed and they're all born at the same time, I have a very artificial-looking bunch of leaves going through. Well, clearly, that's not good. We're going to increase the life to about 8 seconds. We'll add 5 seconds of life randomness. So some will go a little earlier, some will go a little later. The speed randomness is huge. We're going to add some speed randomness. I'll set this to about four. And look at how our leaves now look like they're blown by the wind. Back this up a bit more. As they fly through the air. Make it just a little less. And basically, there's no magic to my numbers. I'm just looking at them. And the leaves are tumbling through the frame. All right, let's go down to our color mode. We'll set this over life, and I'm going to look for 
a choice color choice called Smoky Mountains. And it just changes a little bit of the brightness, takes some of the saturation out, makes my leaves a little softer. Look at our color over life. Notice they're fully opaque. I'm going to put a button here, put a button here, change this button so that the leaves fade out rather than fall off. And now let's add our background. Let's add our text. And let's add our background. And look where we ended up. We've got those leaves blowing across the front. We could, if we wanted to, take the emitter with the emitter selected. And we'll just blur it a bit. So they seem a little bit out of focus compared to the background. We can adjust the blur by going to the inspector under filters under Gaussian blur. But now we've taken a really sort of dull open, a dull still and turn it into a very lovely animated open. Some gentle music, the leaves blow through, we dissolve from this into a shot of the narrator. And again, I've got a very short loop here. This is only about five seconds long. If I wanted it for an open, I would have it be longer. But now you're starting to see that particles don't have to be foggy, artificial, computery. They can have a sense of, of nature and naturalness and randomness to it which is cool. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at particles, replicators, and parameter behaviors inside Motion 5.3. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 218. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.